When we created the project tree, we inserted a free graphic display under the OS1 node and imported the water plant bitmap. The advantage of using bitmaps is that you can use your favorite graphic editor for the static part. What is missing is to add dynamic elements like bar graphs, buttons and selection areas. That is what we want to perform now. To start, open the water plant graphic. Instead of the bitmap we included, we see here the complete display, from which some dynamic elements have been deleted, for example the bar graph of the tank and the selection area of the pump. Remember, in Digivis you can, for example, click the selection area to open a faceplate. First of all, let's inspect the bitmap as such. It does not consist of one single bitmap, but of several ones placed above the background. You can see, I can delete, for example, the pump or the tank. In this way, the entire display contains several small bitmaps. You recognize that the color of the pump symbol of NP10 is green, while that of NP21 is flashing yellow. This can be adjusted in the following way. Double click the green symbol NP10. The parameter window opens. In the bit allocation tab you can define three bits. These bits define how the symbol will be visualized. How this can be achieved can be seen on the display tab. Under bits we see all combinations of these three bits. Each combination represents one state so that we have eight states in sum. The first combination belongs to a status with all three bits equal to zero. This setting was chosen for NP21 for flashing yellow. For the NP10 symbol being displayed green, state 7 is selected, which means bit 1 and 2 equal to 1 and bit 3 equal to 0. Or in other words, NP10 is running, the feedback input FB1 is true and FB0 is false. If we click on the color fields, we get a window where we can select color and flashing mode. Now we want to create a selection area to call up the faceplate of NP10. To perform this, click Animate Selection Area. With the mouse, draw a rectangle over the NP10 pump. When we click again, the parameter window opens. Take the default values which means that the area is transparent with a yellow border. Under the General tab, click the Action button. Under Action Type, select Show Faceplate. Then, click into the Show Faceplate Edit field and press the F2 key. The Tag Selection window opens. Select NP10 and click OK. Now we are done. If we save the graphic display and load it to the operator station, we can open the faceplate of NP10 via a double click. But the level indicator for the tank is still missing. Ok, let's solve this now. Click Animate, Bar Graph and draw a rectangle over the left side of the tank. Then click the Bar Graph to open its parameter window. Enter a name for the Bar Graph Then click into the display variable field and press the F2 key. From the variable list select L10. Adjust the display value to 4.0. This is the value displayed in configuration mode. Under the scaling tab adjust the scale end to 8 meters which is the height of the tank. Under the display tab adjust the fill color to green. If we uncheck all check marks except signal colors, we will find it easier. In the same way, we can add more dynamic elements to the graphic display. What we learned in this session is that a graphic display may contain several individual bitmaps. 
how to configure dynamic colors of graphic elements depending on three variables, how to add animations and how to assign an action to an element.